In this podcast, I'm going to be showing you how to make that dead mouse style stabby synth. This is what we're going to end up with. just so you can get an idea of what we're aiming for. We're going to start off by creating a new MIDI track and selecting the ES2 synth. Now this is a relatively simple synth to make, it's basically made up of sawtooth waves. So the first oscillator is already on a sawtooth wave, but we're just going to drop the pitch by an octave to make it sound a bit fuller. If you just turn the second oscillator also to a sawtooth wave, and we'll leave that at the right octave. The third oscillator, again a sawtooth wave, but we'll up this by two octaves. Next let's have a look at the filter section. Just flick it over to parallel, and put the blend over to the right. You want both filter cutoffs about the same, probably about one, one or two o'clock get rid of most of the resonance and add a bit of drive just to get a bit of a fuller sound so it's not going to have changed much yet but the way to get that stabby sound is to adjust all the envelopes here down the bottom so let's have a look at that section now you want to make sure all of your attack times are as short as they can be and then bring all of your decay times down. Bring this sustain right down to the bottom. And just bring your release times down a bit too. It doesn't really sound much at the moment, but once you get some reverb on there and you start playing around with the automation, it will start to get a lot more interesting. So let's come out of the ES2 now and have a closer look at what I've actually programmed in for the MIDI notes. I've used pretty much all quaver notes and this seems to be quite effective when creating this sort of synth and with the sound that I've got at the moment from the ES2 and this chord progression just have a listen to what we've got so far. So if we go back into the ES2 again, I'm just going to show you how to make this synth a little more interesting. And for now I'm just going to be moving the faders up and down. But it's quite nice to get a bit of automation in there so you don't have to do it all manually. All I was doing there is playing around with the decay and release of each of the envelopes and just this cut off control down the bottom here and it just gives your sound that much more interest and it can help you create sections that build up to other sections in tracks. <laughs> 